Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. If you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you for coming back. So guys, these are general readings. They will not resonate for everyone. So please just take what's meant for you and leave the rest behind. As always, information for scheduling a personal reading will be in the description box below. And um, if it's your first reading with me, it will be $10 off. So all new clients get $10 discount. So that's something. If you guys are interested in that, that information will be in the description box. And guys, this is energy. And that means the roles could be reversed. So if you need to flip-flop the roles around, feel free to do so. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. And remember with that too, you know, if you need to flip-flop the roles around, feel free to do so. If you guys like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then when our November mid-months are uploaded in about a week, you'll be notified. And you guys can come hang out with us. So... Capricorn, I did upload your November monthly about four or five days ago. So if you haven't checked that out, feel free to do so. Um, this is just gonna be an or, this is just gonna see where the energy lies for the next week until we do those November mid months. So archangels and guides, spirits and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. Beautiful Capricorns, may the messages that need to be heard the most come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Very clear messages for my beautiful Capricorns. Capricorn, please. Very clear messages for my beautiful Capricorns. Capricorns. Show me Capricorn's energy for the next week. One more shuffle, guys. Capricorn's energy for the next week, please. we got going on here we have two major arcanas and they're both in the reverse let me take a look here interesting you know this is feeling kind of like a mutual energy too, um, but I am going to read it from your perspective, Capricorn. So it's an interesting reading because it, the cards that are on the table typically would be cards that you would think would be, you know, kind of sad, but Capricorn, I feel like you're really happy about this. <laughs> um, it's very interesting to me. So I feel like... Okay, so, you know, I feel like things were very unclear, um, and I feel like now they've become clear. I feel like you have the moon in the reverse. Things have, you've gotten some kind of clarity, some kind of enlightenment, and it has brought you to this place where you're like no longer um, holding on to a specific connection. You're no longer wanting to put the work in. This is the energy of giving up. And like I said, normally that would be kind of a sad energy. You know, when you just, you just give up on a connection. Usually that's kind of sad. Um, Capricorn, I don't really feel like you're very sad. Um, I feel like it's been a long time coming and like I said, I feel like, I feel like you've got some clarity here and you just know it's just what's best. And I feel like you fought for this for so long that you're only, like you're relieved. That's kind of the energy I'm feeling like you're not sad that it's over. You're not sad that you have to give up on it. I feel like you're relieved that you can give up on it. In your mind, you have the judgment in reverse. This is you deciding that you do not want to reconcile. You do not want to do a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance. However many chances it's been, this is you in your mind like, no, I'm done with that. 
I'm giving up on that. I'm done with that. And in your heart, you feel so happy about it. And like I said, I feel like it's that relieved. And I feel like it's also, you know, with the sun, it's very, the sun illuminates things, things that maybe were hidden by the moon. So with the moon in reverse and the sun card, I feel like it just became so clear to you how unhappy you've been in this connection and how how freeing it would be for it to for you to not have to do this and i feel like you are and i feel like you do feel free and i feel like you do feel happy and i kind of feel like this is a mutual energy so cross watchers don't get me i feel like i feel like your person kind of is in the same thing you guys have both have been fighting for this for so long but you're both just exhausted from it and you both are just relieved that you don't have to do it anymore and we have the lovers in the reverse. So this is this is definitely a decision that's been made. I mean, sometimes the lovers can represent a decision when it's in the upright, but you have it in the reverse. So I feel like the decision has already been made. This is also about a disconnect. Someone that you were once really close to, it's just not the same anymore. It's just not there anymore. Um, and I feel like that's, you know, one of the things that's really contributed to the you know, the wanting to release this. They're like, it's not, we don't even, what we had that was worth fighting for, we don't even have anymore. It's no longer worth fighting for. I don't want to fight for this. I feel like your person's kind of on that same thing. I feel like you want to go after your own stability. You want to find your own, you know, your soulmate, the person that is meant for you, the person that makes you happy. And it's, it's a celebrate, it's a connection that's worth celebrating a connection that's worth fighting for because i feel like you feel like this one isn't anymore and i feel like you feel really happy at the opportunity to be able to to find this new stability for yourself to find this new love to you know be free of everything that you've been dealing with and it's interesting to me because they are like facing away from each other too so i feel like you've spoken your truth You've said what you needed to say. You put up your boundaries and your walls and you know what you need to do. And it, she's looking and facing the future direction because it's laying down this way for me. So, you know, she's looking towards her future and she's got clarity. She's got certainty. She knows what she wants and she's, she wants to go after it. And she's turned her back on the past. She's turned her back to this, you know, king of wands. And I feel like the king of wands here... He also, and that's what I'm saying, he's got his back turned to her too. So as I'm feeling, it's a very kind of mutual energy. He's he's kind of, I feel like he's lost his passion for the connection as well. And it's like, you guys are just, you're just both going in different directions in your lives and what you want. You're, you're, you're an opposite of each other. You're going in different directions and you're both tired. You're both, that's the one thing you guys do have in common now is that you're tired of fighting for this connection. And you're, I feel like Capricorn beautiful things are coming in for you and you're excited about that i feel like you're really happy about being able to release that and you do have good things coming in you have the high priestess wow okay wow so you have the the nine of cups being emotionally satisfied and content on your own the high priestess you know feeling very spiritually connected and in tune with yourself you have the ten of cups so I, you know you could even be finding that person i feel like you are manifesting that tenth cup here I feel like you are manifesting, you know, the person that you can have this kind of long-term, stable, happy commitment with, but you don't have to fight so hard for. So I know that this is only a weekly energy, so, you know, take that into, not all of that is going to play out in a week, but I feel like that's the energy in where it's at for the next week. I'm going to pull you some Oracle cards now and see what other messages, confirmations, or clarifications, advice we can get from you, for you. What messages do we have for my beautiful Capricorns in this situation? Ooh, for the next week, what messages do we have for my beautiful Capricorns in this situation for the next week? What messages do we have for my beautiful Capricorns? Ooh, let's see what came out. Unrequited love. There's just not enough an attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And like I said, I feel like you guys have both lost your passion for it. I feel like there's just been a huge disconnect. And I feel like you guys are both kind of relieved to not have to deal with it anymore. So this is just that, that confirmation from spirit. In deception, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And I feel like to a point you both have been. And I feel like it's not that you guys are actually like lying to each other. 
I think it's like lying to yourselves that it's still there or, you know, kind of even lying to each other that you even still want to work on this for a while. Because I feel like you guys didn't. I feel like you guys have both felt this way for a while or at least you have Capricorn. Um, and maybe it's just now all coming out. What other messages can we get? We're going to use the Moonology cards now. What other messages can we get from my beautiful Capricorns? I just looked up and saw my cat sitting in a laundry basket. All right, sorry, it really distracted me. Um, bring love into the situation. So I feel like this is saying you guys have lost the love and the beautiful aspects of this connection. I feel like this is spirit saying for it's time for you to go after love. It's time for you to bring love back into your life again. And work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. I think you guys have been together for so long and you've been fighting for this connection for so long that there's a part of you guys that was just not sure what to do in your, you know, with yourselves and in your life if you weren't doing this with each other. So I think that was one of the things that kept you stay, just being comfortable. And now the, the wild unknown is here. And what are we going to do? And I feel like Spirit's saying just bust through those fears because everything you ever wanted is right on the other side. All right. And your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. So it's all going to be worth it. That's the, that's the words I just got from that. It's all going to be worth it. So put the work in to do the right things, to take care of yourself, to get yourself to that happy place, to push through those fears and make the decisions that are best for you. And it's all going to be worth it. Now we're going to use the, Arc, the Archangel Oracle deck to ask the Archangels that are guiding you and watching over you the most through the next week what message they have for you. Archangels, as you watch over and guide my beautiful Capricorns for the next week, what message do you have for them? Oh, we got three. Three came out. Let's see what they are. Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So for a lot of you, um, leaving this person and really tapping into, like I said, I feel like you guys are going to be tapping into your spiritual side. I feel like you're going to be really tapped in and tuned on, listening to your intuition. I feel like a lot of you that this is going to really help you get to know yourself again and feel good about yourself again and really tap into your spirituality. I feel like this could be the catalyst for a spiritual awakening for a lot of you. Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. This is your time to shine. The timing is perfect. You guys are ready. Okay, you guys are ready. So take this leap. And leadership, Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So even though this might be saying that I'm just, just got the message that for some of you with this card, it's saying that you guys, you and your person both kind of have these feelings. You guys both feel these way, feel this way, but one of you is being, and it could be very well be your person, Capricorn, is kind of holding on to it a little bit harder than the other because of that fear. So this is you gently guiding and leading even your person through this like you know being compassionate and understanding but like this is the thing that we have to do we both have to do this and I know we both love each other and I know that we both care and we're both afraid of what we're gonna do and what life is gonna be like without being with each other but we know that we have to this is you not only doing this for yourself but lovingly guide your person to to through this as well all right, Capricorn, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it does not, I'm sorry, it's just not your message. Please check out your other sign placements. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, if you guys want prayers for any reason at all, you do not have to specify. Just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will pray for you personally, okay? I'm sending you guys all kinds of light and love. Until next time, bye.